Hi everyone, this is Roma from LogicalMusician.com again, here to educate you upcoming musicians. Now, I want to show you guys what tape delay is right now. So, let me open up my tape delay. I just really want to get you guys to hear what kind of delays there are, so you can differentiate every kind of delay that I've shown you today. Now, I'm opening my tape delay. This is my tape delay right here, as you can see. I have my pre-recorded region as I show you in all my other videos. Let's hear how this, oh, before I show you how it sounds, your tape delay also gives you different time signatures from half notes all the way up to sixteenth notes. Um, let's hear how this sounds. If you guys can hear that feedback still echoing a little bit until it fades out, is that is because I have my feedback to 54%. Now, what's really cool in tape delay is that you can control its dry and wet output. As I've showed you before, what dry and wet is. If you guys haven't read that article, let me show you guys how this sounds like. If I put my dry all the way up, the signal is going to be dry, so you won't be able to hear a lot of the tape delay that is being sent. So let's hear this. If you notice, when I put my wet down, a lot of the signal just disappeared. So let me put my wet up and my dry down. So your wet and dry outputs is a means of controlling your signal. Now, I also have tempo sync, which a lot of pedal pedals have, but in my case, I can change my tempo to whatever I want. 650 if I wanted to. That's way too fast. Now, if I wanted to sync it, push the sync button. I also have my groove button which controls the delay in milliseconds. I also have my low cut and my high cut filters. And that's basically it in tape delay. Hope you guys learned how to differentiate your different delays. This is my last video on delay. Hope to see you guys soon on other videos to come. Bye.